Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Line to a mud gas separator. Frequently, formation gas is the main part of a kick. However, kick fluids may also contain water, oil, or a combination of these fluids. In any case, the mud gas separator removes the gas from the mud. With the gas removed, the pump circulates gas-free mud into the mud tanks and back down the hole. The separated gas goes to a flare line. In the separator, mud with gas in it from the choke manifold enters the top and falls over several baffle plates. The gas breaks out of the mud as it falls over the baffle plates and goes into the flare line. The gas-free mud falls to the bottom outlet where it goes to the mud tanks for circulation down hole. The flare line conducts gas from the mud gas separator to a flare pit on land rigs. The gas is burned or flared at the flare pit. Notice that the flare line outlet is a good distance away from the rig floor, so even while gas is flaring, the crew can still safely work on the rig floor. Offshore, where there's no flare pit, the flare line conducts the gas over the side of the rig. The line runs over the water, a safe distance away from the rig. A trip Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.